Street Louis de Montfort Secret of the Rosary Third Rose. The miraculous way in which the devotion to the Holy Rosary was established is something of a parallel to the way in which God gave His law to the world on Mount Sinai, and it obviously proves its value and importance. His own experience, Saint Dominic preached the Rosary for the rest of his life. He preached it by his example as well as by his sermons, in cities and in country places, to people of high station and low, before scholars and the uneducated, to Catholics and to heretics. The Rosary, which he said every day, was his preparation for every sermon and his little tryst with Our Lady immediately after preaching. One day he had to preach at Notre Dame in Paris, and it happened to be the feast of Saint John the Evangelist. He was in a little chapel behind the high altar prayerfully preparing his sermon by saying the Rosary, as he always did, when Our Lady appeared to him and said, Dominic, even though what you have planned to say may be very good, I am bringing you a much better sermon. Saint Dominic took in his hands the book Our Lady proffered, read the sermon carefully and, when he had understood it and meditated on it, he gave thanks to her. When the time came, he went up into the pulpit and, in spite of the feast day, made no mention of Saint John other than to say that he had been found worthy to be the guardian of the Queen of Heaven. The congregation was made up of theologians and other eminent people, who were used to hearing unusual and polished discourses, but Saint Dominic told them that it was not his desire to give them a learned discourse, wise in the eyes of the world, but that he would speak in the simplicity of the Holy Spirit and with his forcefulness. So he began preaching the rosary and explained the Hail Mary word by word as he would to a group of children, and used the very simple illustrations which were in the book given him by Our Lady. Carthagena, the great scholar, quoting Blessed Alan de la Roche into Dignitate Salterai, describes how this took place. Blessed Alan writes that one day Father Dominic said to him in a vision, My son, it is good to preach, but there is always a danger of looking for praise rather than the salvation of souls. Listen carefully to what happened to me in Paris, so that you may be on your guard against this kind of mistake.